Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to show you how you can get participation metrics in Analysis Workspace and throughout the rest of Adobe Analytics using calculated metrics. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with participation, uh, the, the basic idea is that it allows you to assign full credit for any conversion um, to all of the touch points that led up to that conversion. Um, so if I wanted to see, for example, um, the uh, pages that led up to a purchase, I could, I could use revenue participation, and if someone had made a $100 purchase, uh, I would see $100 associated with each page that led up to, um, to that uh, purchase, and to, the, to those $100. So um, you may notice, those of you who are familiar with participation may have noticed that participation metrics are not available by default in Analysis Workspace. And in, uh, in the rest of Adobe Analytics, you can use uh, participation metrics by uh, turning them on in the admin console. But you no longer even need to do that. And here's how you do it. Um, you can go to the Calculated Metric Builder. And again, you can do this anywhere um, in Adobe Analytics. It doesn't have to be in Analysis Workspace. Uh, and um, I'm just going to build a very simple, so I'm, I'm going to continue with that revenue example. I'm going to build a very simple example here, and I'm going to take revenue from the left and I'm going to drag it onto my canvas. And before I do anything else, I'm going to name this metric revenue participation. Oops. And I could give it a description if I wanted to, and this one happens to be a currency. Um, I think we're all set. Okay, so the only th other thing I need to do here, I don't need to add any other definition, I don't need to add any segments or any functions or anything like that. All I'm going to do, this is the big secret, is come over here to the uh, little gear icon next to revenue and where it says allocation default, I'm going to set it to uh, visit participation. You actually have a few participation options here. You can do um, visit participation, which is sort of the normal sort of traditional Adobe Analytics uh, participation. There's also cross-visit participation. Um, it's called reporting window participation, and that's uh, meant to signify that it's not looking back beyond the reporting window. Uh, it's not looking back beyond the start of the date range in whatever uh, project or, or report you're using it. Um, but it. But this would allow me to see all of the pages or channels or whatever that led up to a conversion, even if they happened in a previous visit which is actually really powerful on its own. But in this case, I'm just going to choose Visit Participation. And you'll notice that the preview doesn't really change, and that's, um, that's fine. But uh, now I've got my Revenue Participation metric, and you will see it among my list of metrics. In fact, there it is at the very top. And uh, I will, I'm going to do a page example, since that's what I was, uh, was mentioning earlier. So I'll bring pages over. And now I'm going to replace occurrences with revenue participation. And now this will show me uh, the, uh, the participation dollars associated with each page, along with the percentage. And percentage is, is maybe the, the better way to look at, to consider participation. Uh, the way you would interpret this is the home page participated in 60.1% of the revenue that my, um, that my site generated. And the reason that you'll see uh, these all having 100% uh, at the top here is because these are shopping cart pages. You cannot have revenue without going through the shopping cart pages. Therefore, they had to participate in 100% of the revenue on my site. You can do this for any of the metrics that you've got. Some metrics work better with participation than others, uh, but um, any, any conversion metric participation uh, should work really well, and you can get those in Analysis Workspace uh, using this method that I've demonstrated here. 